Well, I'd say good evening, but it's way well late for that. Hello, folks. Indy Truck Davy, out of the truck and at home in his office. Finished work about an hour ago. Came in. I made a reply to a post that a friend had made earlier, which asked what alternative the Alpha Party offers for independence. Now, on that thread, he was being attacked. And I simply said, the Alpha Party will make no difference. And they will make no difference. Not because of anything other than reality. Yep, there are people saying they're a good pressure group and things like that. Maybe they are. I really don't know. I deal in political realities. I don't know if you know this, but say and I, once upon a time, sat in a car with Alpha part of stickies, the stickers and magnetic stickers on the doors and on the bonnet and with a PA system on the roof. As a friend of yours, who's a member of the Alpha Party, drove room in our village, encouraging people to vote for the Alpha Party. The Alpha Party put out no serious or positive prospectus to govern the people of Scotland. The Alpha Party has one hashtag, and that is Alpha for Independence. Sorry, Peel, it doesn't work. The Alpha Party have been around for a few elections now. They have no elected representatives. I have friends who are members of the Alpha Party, and they have every right to be members of the Alpha Party. I respect their decision to join the Alpha Party. I respect the noise they make on Facebook. I respect the noise they make on Twitter. I respect the noise they make in our society. I respect the right to exist. I expect the right to fight for votes. I'm a Democrat to my toes, but I deal in political realities. When I say they will make no difference, there's a reason. They're the same size as the Liberal Democrats, but the Liberal Democrats have mere elected representatives. Why? Because they've been around for suddenly 80 years. I've also quite clearly stated that it took the Greens, who haven't really made a breakthrough in UK politics since the 50s to break through. I've also pointed out that before the revolution, the SNP were a French party. I deal in political realities. And the political reality is it takes a long time for a new political party to break through. Solidarity, ISP, SSP. All making very little inroads. Why? Because it takes a long time to break into the public consciousness. The Alpha Party has no media outlet. The SNP struggle for media outlets. Reality is reality, folks. Now, I don't want to follow the friends who are members of the Alpha Party. But when a serious question is asked, like, what difference are you going to make? And the answer is to be attacked. Then that tells you that that political party hasn't put anything on the table, which inspires the people. I deal in political realities. Under Alex Salmon, the SNP did amazing things, but that's because devolution was there. The only six MPs in Westminster, but they just won a majority in Holyrood. That's a political reality. The political reality is the Alpha Party for a few elections new and did nada. They have two elected representatives and they both walked the floor from the SNP. Others who have walked the floor from the SNP 
in the council elections, got their asses booted out of office. Why? Because the Alpha Party hadn't made it into political consciousness. And they had offered nothing other than Alpha for independence. Nay, Root Mark? Language, Timothy. Sorry. Um, no Root Mark. No viable prospectus to put in front of the people. And I keep hearing that the Scottish people are politically stupid. For friends, believe it or not, who tell me that the average Joe in the street doesn't know what he's on. I don't believe that for two seconds. People vote these days, especially since the 2014 referendum, on the prospectus that's put in front of them. The Scottish people, year on year, since 2014, have been the most politically aware people in Europe. And the most politically savvy when it comes to the Rain Nation. And they vote on the prospectus put in front of them. And the Alpha Party saying Alpha for Independence with 6,000 members and no representatives in Scotland isn't he winning any votes? Because there's no perspectives if we're running schools, hospitals, highways, commerce, anything. There's nothing there except for Alpha for independence. Well, guess what? Over 56% is according to the polling is for independence. That's over 2 million people and 6,000 of you is nothing. And the grand scheme of it. I respect your political right to exist, your political right to campaign. What I don't respect is attacks on people who are asking honest questions. Like, what difference are you going to make? What is your prospectus for independence? What's your prospectus to run the local hospitals, the local schools, the local councils, the local services? You've come up with nada, nothing. And yet I'm being attacked by so-called friends for pointing out political realities. I'm not a journalist. I'm an observer. And I've been observing this stuff since I was a kid. And what it tells me, looking at this stuff observationally, is it tells me that political parties take a long time to break through. Well, the Alpha Party's been around for a couple of elections now. 0.16% of the vote, that's their membership. 0.2% of the vote, we rise, that's their membership, and that membership falling again. Folks, I have no problem with people who support Alpa. I have no problem with the Alpa part of, part of, uh, party fighting for votes. What I have a problem with is people who don't like <coughs> reality being pointed out to them. It reminds me of Brexit. Let's forget the experts. Let's forget history. Let's forget everything. They made up a history of sunny uplands and two world wars and a world cup, for Christ's sake. I thought the people of Scotland were better than that. The truth is the truth. And the truth is the upper parties made the inroads politically in Scotland. But they haven't been around long. Check back with me in 50, 70 years. Because that's what we're talking about for the Green Party and the SNP. All right. Don't give me crap. Because the political reality is that the Alpha Party is irrelevant. Absolutely irrelevant. No elected officials. The only two MPs they have walked the floor and they'll be booted out in their arse at the next election. Just fact, people don't like them when, when a, um, politicians walk the floor. Didn't matter what party it is, people don't like it. So watch Michael Coyle. A friend of mine in Erdley was the seat at the next council election. He walked the floor to Erdley. Watch his daughter, who is a friend of mine, now sitting as an independent, 
Where is our seat is the next election? Happened to Chris McElhenney when he decided to leave your parish and join the Alpha Party parish. The Alpha Party have offered nothing to the people of Scotland so far. Nothing that we could vote on. And we're all wise, intelligent people and we read the prospectus that's put in front of us. Simple as that. The white paper was a good prospectus, but it wasn't perfect because of the currency issue. Let's see what comes up next. I'll still deal with political realities. And the political reality is Alpha Party has every right to exist, has every right to campaign. But don't expect to break into, into the consciousness of the Scottish people. No matter how many truck sides you put in the side in a field with Alpha for independence. Because independence is bigger than the idea of independence. It's how we actually execute it and how we improve our lives. The Alpha Party so far haven't even offered decent perspectives on their devolution, never mind independence. But I won't be attacked by so called friends for pointing out political realities. If you don't want to accept the political realities, then you're playing the wrong field. And we're not going to win if you're playing the wrong field. Anyway, you know they say the grass has always been on the other side. Well, it appears that the Scottish people don't agree because the Alpha Party is no making inroads. Check back with me in 50, 70 years, guys. Boy. Madam Director said that's enough. I'm not asking you to like what I've just said. I'm just asking you to sit down and think about the reality of it. All right? The historical reality of it, the political reality of it, the fact. Have a nice day. I'll be back tomorrow to start my broadcast back up. All of you, today's news.